mining Ethereum Classic with a Jazz Miner X16Q, high throughput, quiet server. As a proof of work blockchain, mining is an important function in Ethereum Classic, ETC. The miner's job is to constantly gather transactions, group them into batches, and to do a lot of work, spending a lot of electricity to create a cryptographic stamp to seal the blocks. Then they send the blocks to the rest of the network, which verifies the transactions and the cryptographic stamps and pays the miners with newly created ETC coins. This process is vital to the permissionlessness and censorship resistance of ETC as the proofs of work themselves are the focal points that keep the network decentralized on a global scale. In this post, we will explain how to contribute and make money mining ETC using the Jazz Miner X16Q high throughput quiet server. 1. Buying the Jazz Miner X16Q. The first step is to buy the Jazz Miner X16Q. We found three possible places the Jazz Miner manufacturer, Amazon, and Miner Bros. In the Jazz Miner website, it may say it is out of stock, but management told us at the Proof of Work Summit that they have units available. Links to where you may purchase the Jazz Miner X16Q are jazzminer.com, this is the link, Amazon, this is the link, Miner Bros, this is the link. We have no agreements nor perceive any revenues, fees, or commissions from any brands mentioned in this post. 2. Jazz Miner X16Q Unboxing When you receive your Jazz Miner X16Q, you will get, you will get it with a server power cord, an Ethernet cable, and then an antenna if you wish to use Wi-Fi to connect it. In our case, we will connect it through our local Wi-Fi router using the Ether Ethernet cable. We also need a power step-up transformer because in, our, because in our location in Oklahoma, USA, we have 110 volt electricity, but the jazz miner uses a 200 to 240 volt input. As seen in the image, we have our jazz miner ASIC, the ethernet cable, the power cord, our transformer with its power cord, and our internet router aligned for connection and setup. 3. Jazz Miner X16Q Connection The next step is to start mining ETC with your Jazz Miner X16Q is to connect all the parts and to turn it on. As seen in the image, you have to connect three things. One, the Jazz Miner ASIC to the transformer if you're using one. If not, then connect it directly to the wall. Two, the transformer to the power outlet on the wall and three, the Jazz Miner ASIC to your router using the Ethernet cable. Once you have all the parts connected, turn on the power button on the back of the Jazz Miner. Four, experience how quiet the Jazz Miner X16Q is. One thing that is true to its brand promise is that when you connect and start running your Jazz Miner, it is incredibly quiet. In the short video in this section, we demonstrate how quiet the ASIC is. This short video is to demonstrate how quiet is the Jazz Miner X16-Q high throughput quiet server. So I'm writing the, the guide on how to use the Jazz Miner x16-q and it's incredibly uh, quiet um, it's all connected the the miner is connected to the transformer uh, because i'm in the united states that uh, uses 119 110 volts but the jazz miner uses 220 to 240 and the jazz miner is also connected to my internet router this is there i have my uh, ETCMC node and here I have my miner and as you can see I'm gonna shut up so you can hear how quiet it is amazing 
never seen a, a, a miner that is so quiet. This short. Five, finding and logging in to the Jazz Miner X16Q user interface. When you have all the parts connected and running, then you, you need to go to your PC and log in to the user interface of your Jazz Miner X16Q. To be able to do this, your Jazz Miner and your PC must be connected to the same router. The IP address to log in to the Jazz Miner UI is 192.168.0.1.1. The default ID and password are ID root password root. When you log in, then you must change your password in the settings tab. Six, getting the mining pool configuration information. Once you have your jazz miner all set up and ready to mine, then you need to go to your mining pool to get the configuration information to point your jazz miner X16Q to it. In our case, we will use F2 pool, the largest mining pool in the ETC ecosystem to configure and point our jazz miner. The link to find the configuration data is this one, f2pool.io forward slash mining forward slash guides forward slash how to mine Ethereum Classic. From there, you will see, copy and enter the following data points into your jazz miner. Pool URL, user slash worker, password. In the following section, we will explain how to do this. Seven, configuring the Jazz Miner X16Q with the mining pool data. To configure your miner to point to your mining pool, go to the settings tab again, and then click the miner link. In the next screen, you will see forms with fields to enter the data for several pools. This is for backup in case one pool is down so your miner can jump to the other. As F2 pool gave us only one ETC pool URL to use, we will add it to the pool one section. Copy and paste a pool URL in a corresponding field. Then the worker, uh, the worker name must be your user ID on F2 pool, followed by the, a dot, then followed by a number, or name you may give to your miner. In our case, we used our F2 pool username and the number 28 as the name of our jazz miner. Donald 1968.28. The password may be whatever you wish. We used one, two, three. To save your data, press submit at the bottom of the page. Eight, checking the mining statistics on the jazz miner X16Q. Once you press submit in the previous step, then you're mining ETC. To check the statistics of your miner on its UI, you will need to wait for a few minutes until the dashboard populates. As seen on the image in this section, we have been mining ETC for more than 50 minutes. So the Jazz Miner dashboard has all the statistics for that period. The main chart shows the hash rate on a minute by minute basis. It has consistently been around 1,900 mega hashes per second which is the capacity of this machine. Other data that it shows are the time mined, fan speeds, and the network data. Nine, checking mining statistics on your mining pool. Once you have your miner set up and working with the local statistics confirmed, then you can go to your mining pool statistics page to see how your jazz miner is doing from the mining pool's perspective. On your account, you must select ETC as the network you want to explore and then go to the worker, workers link to see your jazz miner statistics. In the next screen, you will see the hash rate of your worker and below a section with your worker name and statistics and its statistics. If you scroll down, if you scroll down, you will see a chart with the aggregate hash rate as time passes by. 10. Congratulations. So now that you have your Jazzminer X16Q high throughput quiet server all set up and working, we congratulate you for becoming an ETC miner. If you go to your F2 pool account to the revenue section, you will see your accumulated rewards in ETC with tools to manage your money. Happy mining. 
Thank you for watching this Ethereum Classic video. To learn more about Jasminer, go to jasminer.com. To learn more about ETC, go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.